CataractCoach.com, a resident chop case with a Sinsky hook. Remember, the hands are always more important than the instruments. Now, we've got a resident here who's operating, anonymous resident. Don't know about how many cataracts have been done by this young doctor. But we start off with a paresentesis, reasonably good draping, eyes in primary. I see some of the eyelashes there, but okay. And a lot of gooey, ugh, gooey stuff in the tear film. You know how cataract coach does not like this, right? You can try to wash it away, but because you have not sequestered the lid margin, you're going to be dealing with the gooey, gross stuff of the lid secretion the entire case. So next time, just do the cataract coach way. Now here's the viscous going inside the eye. Good dilation, not too dense of a cataract. Okay, fixating the eye with the cannula there. Here comes the main incision. It looks tolerable. Did you hit any limbal vessels? Maybe you did, barely there. Hmm. Okay, incision, kind of short. Now marking for a rexus, okay? I like using that marker. But you know what I like more? I like retinarounds.com, our sister channel. It is so much great material. I keep telling you about it. Even if you're a cataract surgeon like me, I promise you need to watch Retina Rounds for the videos. You're going to learn a lot. It's that easy. Now, here comes the rexus. Now, obviously, a very experienced resident surgeon here because you're getting a, a beautiful rexus done. It's exactly the way you outlined it, about five or five and a half millimeters. Now, getting some visco glass out of the eye. But see how the incision is a little short? I don't like your corneal incision. I'm sorry. I just don't. I'm being honest. And you're anonymous. What do you care? Now, there's some hydro dissection. I don't like your draping either. It's just, it still bothers me to look at your draping. But I'm going to be quiet and focus on the case here. Now, it, it definitely spins. Good. You know the saying. If it does not spin, you will not win. So that's pretty good. Now, let's see the technique here. A little more viscoelastic. I like that too. Good job. Good job. And you know what? There is a little bit more bleeding from the incision, so maybe I was being a little too judgmental. Okay, fine. Look at that. Left hand, only a Sinsky hook. Right hand of the Thaco probe. Looks like a 2.75 millimeter sleeve. Now, Sinsky hook in the left hand. And you're wondering, oh, what chopper to use? I don't have the right chopper. It don't matter what instrument you have. You give me a butter knife and a spoon, I'll get that cataract surgery done in five minutes. Try me. Now, here comes the fake probe going in. The nucleus buzzing in. Buzz, 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 buzz. No, not quite. There we go. Buzz, 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 buzz. And then the Sinsky hook for the chop. Look at that. Use it like a vertical chopper. Psh, pow! Beautifully done. Clearly good technique here. And again, you don't need a fancy instrument. Don't email me, ask me which chopper I'm... Who cares? You give me any chopper you want, I'll do a beautiful surgery for you. Any chopper you want, I promise you. So you should be the same way. By the way, if you want to use my chopper, I have no royalties or financial interest in it. And it's on the cataractcoach.com website. Click on About Dr. Devgan, and you can click on the link of where are all my instruments from. Now, let's go back to this case here. So the is doing a good job here of a lot of little chops. It's a reasonable cataract, so now let's start taking some pieces out of the eye. Let's start buzzing into these and getting them out of there. But again, the Sinsky hook is enough. You don't need fancy instruments, I promise you. If you think that you're not good because your instruments, that's like saying, you know what, I'm not good at football or soccer because I don't have the right shoes. Well, I hate to be the one to tell you, it's not actually the shoes that makes the difference. It's actually the human being and the talent. So if you got great talent, if you're messy, it don't matter what shoes I put on your feet. You're going to be a fantastic football player, right? Think about it. Now, let's finish up the case here. Again, buzzing into that little nuclear pieces. And you know what? You got to make sure they're fully separated. One of the challenges here is if you don't fully separate the pieces, they're going to be kind of stuck together at the bottom. And so here, you definitely want to spend the time aspirate slowly. But yeah, separate the pieces. And now look, the other piece comes right up. Now, Sinsky hook is a great option. It's simple. You already have it on your tray. You know, what's very interesting is, you know, I knew Robert Sinsky, a very sweet man. He's actually from Los Angeles. And he, he actually practiced in the same town where I went to high school, which is about... 10 kilometers from my clinic, Santa Monica High School. And that's where he practiced in Santa Monica. And he, a very sweet guy. He's since passed away. And 
What's interesting about Sinsky is that he learned Faco in his mid-career. He didn't learn it when he was like 25 or 30 years old. He was like 45 years old or maybe even older. So that just proves to you that, you know, ophthalmology is about lifelong learning here. Now, cleaning up the cortex here, not a whole lot of cortex left. By the way, nice looking Rexus. I like that. Beautifully done here. And clean this up. We'll finish up the case. But I think you're doing a great job. So this is an anonymous resident. I don't know exactly how many cases you've done. I'm guessing it's, uh, if I was going to guess, I'd say 100 plus. So there are between 100 and 200 cataracts you've done, and you've obviously got great skills here. Keep up the strong work. I do like your technique. And my big advice for you is, again, I think your incision's a little bit short, and I think I don't like your draping. But other than that, really, you're doing a fantastic job. And if this is your case number 150, let me just tell you right now, this is better than my case 150. So you're doing great. I promise you're doing great. Here comes the lens going in the caps are bagged. Single piece of acrylic lens. Get that delivered in there. And beautiful. Beautifully done. Again, beautiful Rexus. Overlap in the optic 360. Get that last haptic opened up. And then finish up this case. But yeah, you could easily elevate your game by just doing a better job at draping. And then also just maybe make your decision a little bit more into the limbal vessels, a little bit longer tunnel length. But you know what? Even as it is, it's a, still a pretty reasonable incision. So I got no major faults for you in this case. You did a beautiful job here. And I encourage our young listeners and viewers, remember, the onus is on you. The onus is on you. You need to push yourself to be a better and better surgeon. Because the reality is, you want to come practice in my neighborhood? You're competing against me. So you better work hard. Anyway, check out redarounds.com, our sister channel. I promise you're going to love it and learn a ton.